We're back with Becca Stevens talking about her new book, Practically Divine. Becca, what, what led you to write a book and title it Practically Divine in the first place? <laughs> you know, I didn't mean to. That's the crazy <laughs> thing. I didn't, you know, it just kept coming up that that's Practically Divine yeah, while I was yeah. writing something else. And I was like, that's what it is. Wow. It's about us remembering Practically Divine. Like, mm. we're almost divine and we're enough divine. Mm. You know, that's what Practically Divine means. Close enough and plenty. Yeah. And I think that for me, when we can remember that, it means we're enough right now. It's mm. not when, you know, the kids go off to college or we've gotten the promotion so or I've lost weight or I've found my true love. It's right now. Yeah. It is right now that we have to experience it. And you were touching on how, you know, just the simple, the sacred and the everyday, how mm -hmm. important that is. But you also talk about trying to figure out the past so that we can impact and change our future. I would have to imagine that's a theme that you're seeing every day with the women that you're you're working with and, and, and communing with. How can we do that when our past is really hard and has hurt us? Um, I will just say this, that especially for the women of Thistle Farms mm -hmm. that I've worked with, their past almost never leaves them. It could be an right. old record mm -hmm. from when they were a teenager. It could be, you know, just the buildup of trauma from their youth. And one of the reasons that it's a two-year program for women is that it takes time to do that, to mm -hmm. unpack that in a safe place with safe people. And, you know, like one of the greatest joys that I get to see is maybe it took two years, mm -hmm. but a woman has straightened out her past enough that she gets her first driver's license. Wow. You know, she may be 22, 23, yeah. 28, 48 years yeah. old. And it's like I've paid down the cost. I've made restitution. I figured out how, you know, to get a loan on a car and my credit's good. And it's I think that is the work we have to do, even in our heart work from the past. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's an, a concrete example, but it's true for our hearts, too. It's like, what happened mm -hmm. that makes me react this way? What happened that makes me not trust this situation or leave my body? And when we sort that out, we're better where we are and we can see clearer where we're headed. Yeah. Well, I mean, the practical is a big part of this, but what if someone doesn't believe in the divine? Like, how does the divine play into all this? <laughs> That's in the divine is a great word because it's right on the yeah. edge. It could go either way. And for me, you can translate it to love. Hmm. It's all about love. I mean, on every product we have at Thistle Farms, it's love, love heals. heals. So, you know, practical love, you could yeah. say that easily. I don't want anybody to get tripped up on the words, and I hope that people really feel inspired and challenged and just renewed to keep going. I mean, this is yeah. a time that we don't need to quit. This is a time we need to keep going. Yeah, and we were, we were talking about some of our shared Jewish roots before this. I mean, I think when you bring love into play, it doesn't even matter what faith journey you're coming on, that you, when you love, it, it covers, right? Isn't that what the scripture yeah. says? It covers a multitude yes. of wrongs. And I think talking about loving, we're going into the holidays. Yes. We're going to be dealing with maybe family we haven't seen, or I shouldn't say dealing with getting to see. <laughs> but maybe if we're looking at it, how, how can we apply this as we're going into those holiday celebrations and reunions? Well, I think it's all about being creative. Mm -hmm. I think it's, I mean, Practically Divine is a creative way of living. Mm -hmm. Practically Divine is about uh, Again, appreciation and gratitude right where we are. And to me, to go into like Thanksgiving with a heart that's like mm. remembering the mercy we've known. Yeah. Remembering what we've been forgiven and what we've forgiven others. Remembering some of the moments of joy that we have, even in the brokenness or grief that we've known. It makes the holidays a lot easier to sit down at a table and say, I am grateful yeah. before you even eat a piece of anything. Right, right. Just, just to say it, that. I'm just grateful. That's I, a huge gift. Yeah, and we just have a, a little bit of time left, but you, you end the book almost with this, this centering prayer. You say, before you, we even finish this chapter, just breathing in, could you just lead us in a, a quick centering prayer so that if we do find ourselves in these moments, we have something that we can really crown ourselves with and focus on the Practically Divine? Absolutely. Okay. I've never had anybody ask me that question. I love it. Oh, I'm honored. So we just take a slower than normal breath. Mm. And we breathe in this mm. gratefulness for that breath, for this life, mm. for all the gifts of creation. Mm. And we breathe out any anxiety that we are feeling, any worry for the things we cannot change. Mm. 
and we take one more breath and we breathe in courage to change the things that we can. Mm -hmm. And we breathe out anything that will be a stumbling block for us to keep mm -hmm. going. Thank you, Becca. Peace and love to you. Thank you, Becca. I am just, I'm encouraged by this conversation. I hope you've been encouraged. Please pick up a book of Practically Divine. Give it as gifts. We're going to talk more about some of the great gifts you can give at Thistle Farms, but thank you for joining us on the show today. It was my honor. It's my privilege. Make sure you get the book and come right back and see us.